Welcome to Blind Love, the new dating show where two strangers meet and connect based on their personalities and values without seeing each other first. Today, we have a special episode lined up. Let's meet our first participant. Ooh, welcome, Jason. How are you feeling? Uh, a bit anxious, but excited too. That's great to hear. How about you tell us a bit about yourself before we get started here? Sure, uh, I'm Jason, I'm 29 years old. I work as a software engineer. I love playing the guitar and hiking. Uh, nature's my escape and music is my passion. That's wonderful, Jason. Music and nature, what a great combination. And now, meet Lisa, the CEO of a major beauty brand. Lisa, welcome. Thank you, excited to be here. Lisa, could you introduce yourself to our audience? Of course, I'm Lisa, 31 years old, and as you mentioned, I'm the CEO of a beauty brand. Ooh. I enjoy painting and traveling. Exploring new cultures is my passion, and it inspires my work. Ooh la la, that's fantastic, Lisa. Sounds like you have a very creative and dynamic life. Now, let's get to know each other a bit better, shall we? Yes. Mm. First, We'll start with some questions about your hobbies and lifestyle. Jason, what's your favorite hobby and why? Uh, well, I love playing the guitar. It's a way for me to express myself and unwind after a long day. I also enjoy hiking because it allows me to connect with nature and clear my mind. That's great, Jason. Music and nature are both wonderful outlets. Lisa, how about you? What's your favorite hobby and why? I really enjoy painting. It's a form of meditation for me and traveling, of course. It broadens my perspective and gives me new ideas for my business. Creativity and exploration, very inspiring, Lisa. Now, let's talk about what you're looking for in a partner. Jason, what qualities do you value most in a relationship? I value honesty, kindness, and a sense of adventure. I want someone who can share life's ups and downs with and, and you know, be my best friend. That sure sounds like a solid foundation, Jason. Lisa. What about you? I look for ambition, intelligence, and someone who can understand and support my career. It's important for me to have a partner who respects my independence and success. Absolutely. Mutual respect and support are crucial. Now, let's dive a bit deeper. Jason, how do you see your future in five years? In five years, I hope to advance in my career and perhaps start a family. You know, I want to continue exploring new places and creating beautiful memories with someone special. Aww. Beautiful vision, Jason. Lisa, your turn. Where do you see yourself in five years? In five years, I aim to expand my brand globally and make a significant impact on the beauty industry. On a personal level, I hope to find a partner who can share this journey with me and maybe even settle down. Wonderful aspirations from both of you. Let's move on to some fun questions now. Jason. What's a quirky fact about you that most people don't know? Uh, <laughs> I have a collection of vintage comic books that I started when I was a kid. Uh, it's my little escape into a world of superheroes and adventure. <laughs> That's awesome, Jason. Lisa, do you have an equally quirky fact to share? I can recite the entire script of The Devil Wears Prada from memory. It's my all-time favorite movie and I've watched it countless times. <laughs> That's quite impressive, Lisa. Seems like we have some unique personalities here. Ooh. Now, let's see how well you connect on a deeper level. Jason, how do you view financial responsibility in a couple? I believe in equal partnership. I think we should support each other and share responsibilities. It's about teamwork and ensuring that both partners feel secure and valued. Quite noble and practical, Jason. Lisa, how about you? How do you view financial responsibilities in a relationship? I think the man should be the provider, you know? I've worked hard to reach where I am, and I have high standards for the lifestyle I want, and I want to sustain that. Interesting perspective, Lisa. Let's explore your views on cultural diversity. Jason, how important is cultural diversity to you? Very important. I love learning about different cultures, and I believe it enriches a relationship. It brings in new perspectives and experiences, which I think are vital for personal growth and mutual understanding. That's a great outlook, Jason. Lisa, your thoughts on cultural diversity? I appreciate different cultures, but prefer to stick to my own for the most part. It feels more comfortable and more familiar to me. I see. Let's talk about your expectations from a partner. 
Jason, what do you expect from your partner in terms of emotional support and personal space? I expect my partner to be emotionally supportive and understanding. At the same time, I believe it's important to respect each other's personal space and individual interest. A balanced relationship is key. Balance is indeed crucial. Lisa, what are your expectations in this regard? I expect my partner to support my career and ambitions fully. I need someone who can handle the demands of my professional life and still be there for me emotionally. Personal space is important, but my career is my top priority. Ambition and support, duly noted. Now, let's discuss family dynamics. Jason, how do you envision handling family responsibilities with your partner? I see it as a joint effort. I mean, both partners should contribute to raising a family and managing household responsibilities. Uh, communication and cooperation are essential to make it work smoothly, so. Absolutely, teamwork is vital. Lisa, your thoughts on family responsibilities? I think it's important for a partner to understand the pressures of running a business. I would need someone who can take on more family responsibilities to allow me to focus on my career. It has to be a partnership where we play into each other's strengths. Fair point, Lisa. Let's lighten it up a bit. Jason, if you could travel anywhere in the world with your partner, where would you go and why? I'd love to go to Japan. Uh, the mix of tradition and modernity fascinates me. Plus, I think it would be a fantastic adventure to explore culture, food, and natural beauty together. Japan is a wonderful choice. Lisa, where would you like to travel with your partner? I'd choose Paris. It's the epitome of romance and sophistication. I can imagine strolling through the streets, enjoying the art, fashion, and of course, the incredible cuisine. Both excellent choices. Now, let's talk about a critical topic. Conflict resolution. <gasps> Jason. How do you handle conflicts in a relationship? Very important. Kind of like I said before, I, I, I believe in open communication. It's important to discuss issues calmly and find a, a, a compromise that works for both. Holding on to grudges only makes things worse, so resolving conflicts quickly, I think, is key. Wise approach, Jason. Lisa, how do you handle conflicts? I prefer to avoid conflicts if possible. If they do arise, I think it's important to address them head on, but also to have space to cool off and reflect before resolving them. Interesting strategies from both sides here. Finally, let's touch on future aspirations. Jason, what is your ultimate goal in life? My ultimate goal is to find happiness and fulfillment in both my personal and professional life. I want to create a loving family and continue to grow in my career, making a positive impact wherever I can. Beautiful, just beautiful aspirations, Jason. Lisa, what is your ultimate goal? My ultimate goal is to establish my brand as a global leader in the beauty industry and to inspire others with my journey. And on a personal level, I want to find a partner who can share and support this vision. Inspiring goals from both of you. Well, ladies and gentlemen, We've reached the ends of our questions. Now, the moment of truth. If you are both ready to see each other and decide you would like to go on a date, please stand up and face each other. Hi, Lisa. Oh. I didn't expect this. Is everything all right? Uh, I'm sorry. <laughs> But I can't do this. I don't want to be seen with someone like you. Someone like me? Lisa, that's kind of rude. You agreed to the rules, you have to give him a chance. No, I won't. This is not what I signed up for. Well, Lisa, our viewers disagree. Let me show you something. Your comments are causing a backlash. People are boycotting your brand. It's okay, I didn't mean to cause any trouble. No, Jason, you are not in the wrong here. Look at all this support for you. Wait, can we talk about this? No? Okay, I didn't mean it like that. Ah! Yikes. Well, the show must go on. Jason, we'll find the right person for you in the next episode. But 
That's it for today on Blind Love. Join us next time for more heartfelt connections. Good night, everyone. I said good night. <laughs> <laughs>